Hello everybody, welcome back to more Neo Fight the Action RPG Arena Survival Roguelike. We're checking out the final difficulty level here. Difficulty level 5, which is technically the 6th difficulty level, really, but we got bigger waves, elite enemies, tougher enemies, stronger enemies, and more elites. So bigger waves, elite enemies, more HP on enemies, more damage on enemies is what those mean. And then just even more elites, which is honestly my favorite uh, modifier that they have anyways is the elites. So I'm happy with it. Uh, what do we want to go for? We obviously did an amazing run with the power fist. I feel like, uh, oh, 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 there's like a little bit of a, a pointer about what you're going to, you actually press E to, okay, all right, <laughs> go figure. I mean, that's actually really nice. So we don't bump into them anymore. It's way more intentional that we get to be with them now. So that's actually, that's incredible. Um, Apparition, Stormbow. I mean, we did that yesterday. I mean, with an Apparition. Oh, that's right. God, I have to, I have to unlearn that. You don't just bump into them. It's probably for the best. Like I've kind of gotten used to it and it's weird now. Also, Fireball is looking pretty different. And we get to move around. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, there's been a new update uh, ahead of the, you know, the early access release that is now, I guess, today. If you're watching this, it should either be out in early access now, but more likely it'll be out in early access in a couple hours, depending on when you're watching it. Um, which is great. Definitely go make sure to pick it up. I, it's just, it's a really good time. I've been really enjoying it. And I can't wait to see updates. That's really the thing. Okay, so we do have to inter... We still have to interact with the... Okay, all right. We just gotta unlearn some things. It's so much better. So Boulder Stance, now that you do actually move around, like, A, movement speed matters way more. Uh, B, Boulder Stance is gonna be a little bit trickier to actually use. Uh, Essence Shift is kind of just, like, it's just too good to say no to. Uh, cooldown reduction, don't really care. Movement speed was this one here. Dashing through enemies marks them for 1.5 seconds. I've got, like, a very ranged build right now, so it's not that appealing. With a reroll. Uh, basically, when we die, we get to come back once, which is kind of nice. Uh, go with a little bit of attack speed, a little bit of HP regen. Why not? God, just the amount of difference the game has just with the one change of truly being able to move around. Like, I was having, you know, I had the assumption that, like, maybe this change was made. But, like, I was like, I don't know. Maybe I just used uh, a move that was a little bit more mobile. But, no. Fireball letting us move around is absolutely indeed new. I really enjoy that. Like, do we get some kind of benefit for standing still? I'm not sure. Maybe. But I, I like this approach way better than, like, you have to literally stand still completely. But yeah, Fireball looks slightly different in some way, and I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is. I don't know what's been changed. Like, I don't think there's patch notes. Because the game's not out yet. <laughs> so, like, patch notes are... There's basically... Patch notes would basically just be for... Me? Me? <laughs> I guess? Uh, you know... Let's go for simplicity. I feel like I haven't gone for that, really. So, like, our standard move being pretty good. Drain soul... I, you know, sure, we could. Let's go a little spicy with it. Ghost form. I feel like, um, the pop-ups could show up... I mean, it's kind of nice to be able to do both, but the pop-ups could show up now when the, uh, the arrow pops up. I don't know if that's necessarily better or not. I don't know which one I'd prefer. But yeah, we just gotta get used to that. Okay. This is no longer a shift move. What the heck? Okay, that's different. Is there a, um... Cooldown ready prompts? Do we get to change this? Interesting. Oops. What do we have here? I don't even remember what we had here. It's like F or something? Man, how many things got tweaked just over overnight? Like literally overnight. 
I mean, I'm sure the update took longer than that, but you know. Oop. Maybe it, I'm gonna find out that it was that was on Q all along. Like we got no actual changes. We've always moved, you know. It's always how it goes. But no, the movement thing, I, it's so clear. So this is um. Okay, we can't look at it in the middle of the combat. The one where we go kind of invisible for a little bit and we fear people that we run through. Which is going to be quite handy. Yeah, it absolutely is. I don't think we're invincible to damage while we are ghost style. I don't think. Okay, go, 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 go. But I do know that we obviously fear them. Bye-bye. Good. Solid, solid, solid. A little bit of movement speed is certainly tempting now. Huh. Battle hunger, battle hunger is kind of amazing. Like, I gotta be honest, it's so good, but also, like, I just don't want to do it. Because I've already done it so much. I'll get Invigorating Strike while we're going to be casting a lot of this anyways. A little bit more move speed. I'm going to assume that it impacts... It definitely looks like it impacts our, like, crawling movement, for lack of a better word. Obviously, it's going to take more movement speed to really, like, make a difference there, but, like, the fact that I can move at all is so nice, and I can actually do, like, little dodges because of this movement speed upgrade. It makes it a perk that's worth taking a little bit more often. Um, so, like, the fact that we have that max mana perk that we can get, or, like, traits. And the fact that this, uh, has been changed, this natural movement of the game. I don't think that there's any dud stats anymore. Like, I, I don't know, like, maybe people who just like big number funny will be uninterested in melee and range damage resistance, but those, those stats are good. So, like, I don't know what to say about that. All the stats seem valid now, for some reason or another. And that is really good. That's a good feeling. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I just never found myself wanting movement speed before because of how much you got s just stunned in place, basically. Whoop. <clears throat> Ooh. Shooting star. Spend all of your mana to summon a shooting star. I actually think that that might be kind of fun to go, like... Do we get to full mana by the time it's full? Yes, we do. It does 500. That's pretty nice. And now max mana, like, with this... Yeah, with this, max mana is relevant as well. Sure. Don't care too much about the cooldown reduction. Don't really... The mana, like, I don't mind it. Let's get a little bit of flat HP. All right, so we got the, yeah, the distance upgrade. Whoa, my. The wrong moves there. Whoa. Yeah, that does some work. You want to hit that actual, you know, the boss with it for one, but hey. Ooh! Like a full screen snipe, man! This is not good. Get the hell out. Okay, so that blocks bullets. It maybe has the entire time for all I know. Okay, that's doing so much! Oh my god. Alright. I like that layout. I would maybe... I'll maybe replace the ghosts. But, like, the fact that we have this, and then we, we'll just stop to go for one big blast like that. I like that flowchart. It's kind of like a... like a rogue building up combo and then popping it, you know? Sort of what it feels like. Nice. 
So, I mean, what, what else would we want? I mean, vines would be really nice to guarantee that they get trapped there because vines does not take mana. It's not often that I'm moving and not casting spells. Thick hide is just, it's really good. I'm going to take some attack speed, but I'm going to reroll this. Uh, fire damage increase. Yeah, the other ones, it's not that they're bad. It's really not. One sixty seven. I think that's the max. Honestly, it's not that much of a difference. Like, as long as we're kind of far away, it does uh it's it's pretty good to do its max damage there. So that's really nice. That being said, obviously there's lots of situations where we have to just smack enemies right in front of our face. Good. I like this though. It's is it is it the unbelievably overpowered like I don't know, lawnmower build that we had? No. But I don't want every build to be the same. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many freaking enemies, man. Okay, we need to start casting that a little bit closer to us. Get out of here. Alright, I think we're good. Some of those have, like, slight homing to them. Six hundred damage. It's not even like ridiculous. I, I do think that the more mana oops, the more mana we have, the better it would be. Obviously. We've not taken a whole lot of max mana. Whenever you cast three spells, a threat spread of three projectiles are launched towards the target direction. Maybe. This is a cool move that is bad for or for us right now. After casting a cooldown spell, a clock is launched in the air. Catching it reduces the cooldown timers for all equipped spells by five seconds. It's nuts. Hmm. This is interesting. I'll take it. Whenever you take 30 damage, all cooldowns are reset. You know, this is fine. So, do we stack up to 10 and then we get that going? Okay. Mm, it's not great. There's no penalty for having it. But, like, how much damage do we do right now? 200 and then this does how much eight okay it does 800 i can't be too mad at that i cannot be too mad at that okay let's try that i mean like obviously it's gonna one shot i think that's gonna be better on bosses i almost wonder if it is better to just not cast it for right now, though. That doesn't cancel it, does it? No, because it's not a damaging spell. Yeah, I almost feel like it is just better to do this. We'll, we'll drop one down there. I mean, it is fun to see the big number fight. It takes how long to uh, ramp it back up? That long right there since our last cast. If I can get, like, the ultimate fire move, expert spell thing, maybe I'll go for that instead. Maybe it'd be worth it. Again, it's not like we're losing anything by taking that elemental buff. I don't think? I'm pretty sure I don't remember a, uh, a change there. Whoop. That makes us weaker if we don't use the same elemental spell. 
But, like, we're doing some silly damage. For a basic spell right now, pretty good. Pretty darn good. Crit mana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crit chance is the only one that's tempting, but I think... I, oh, I was going to say, I think I'm going to neglect it. Whenever you cast a fire spell, you get 2.5 crit chance and critical strike damage. Well, there you go. I think that that's worth it. Like, the other ones are good. Attack speed increased by 10%. I think that's worth it. Get a little bit of uh, attack speed. Double melee resist. Don't mind if I do. It's becoming more and more something that we should... Well, I mean, like, we can keep this stacked up. Even if we press Q, we still get to keep our fire stacks. So, hey, we got some fire damage, fire, uh, or, uh, crit chance, crit damage. Largely with our fire spells here. Man, the, the amount of spawns on this and the location of the spawns on this one are always so brutal. Okay. Trying to get Mr. Frog Boys done. Get Mr. Frog Boys. Oh, shoot. Oh, I cast shit. Ah, oh, I cast my shift move, but it didn't do what I needed it to do there. Oh, my God. That guy lived. The boy who lived. I don't know. That did a 1400 crit. Which is really cool. But again, it doesn't matter too much. Man, the ability to move is so nice. It might the game might need to be like balanced again accordingly. Cause it is really helpful. But let me tell you, I think that starting here and then balancing around it in reverse is a good call. Or just you know what? Just adding more difficulty levels if need be. How about that? I think that'd be a better, like, a pretty solid answer. Just don't necessarily, if people find it to be too easy, just make it so the difficulty goes up to 10. I don't know. I don't know. Why not, right? Uh, crits ignite enemies, doing 120% of your powers. Fire damage. Yep. Okay, now I, now I care about crits a bit more. Movement speed is really nice now. I mean, I mean, I actually really like Entropy. Entropy and um, Spontaneous Combustion are really interesting because whenever you get a crit with Entropy, which happens very often theoretically because you're doing lots of ticks of damage, you do get the Spontaneous Combustion crit doing 120% of your power. So it's a kind of a way to take Entropy and turn it into a really big... Uh, like solid damaging spell. Let's see if we can. 13, 13. Like, obviously, we don't have a lot of regen, but if we get a crit, suddenly it's, t it's ticking for 14, and on top of that, the additional. There, we finally got some more max mana. Stone skin, absolutely. Oops, absolutely gonna slap that on instead. We're mobile, man. We're freaking mobile. It's nice to feel the benefit of it. So we have more mana, so that sh should be doing even more damage. Again, not that it matters right now. It's one-shotting. Anything else is redundant. It'll matter on the boss, but it won't matter until then. Like, I firmly believe that to be the case. Okay. Okay. I would like more crit chance now, but, like, look at that. 73, doing 73 damage on a uh, damage over time proc. Whoop. Yeah, look at that. Did you see that garbage? It's so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bag it up, 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 bag it up. Frog boy, get out of here. Pretty much just trying to use this to... Snipe the frog boys. Working with mixed results here. We're not... Okay, we're not even one-shotting the frog boys. Whoa. Would max... Max mana, max distance, max crit... 
max whatever it is elemental affinity would that would that cause it to work I mean it's doing pretty good damage even if we're close so I don't think it'll matter too much Whoop. how tanky are we we I don't think we're that tanky I think we have a couple good perks Max mana. Expert spells do 20% more damage. Like, if we want to have that move be our, like, our powerhouse, that right there is how we can do it. So, like, let's get that stacked up. That did 1,400 damage. Not even critting. Obviously, we do not get our mana stacked up all the way. So I think we kind of... 2,400 damage? Oh my god! That seems like a lot. As far as I'm aware, that's quite a bit. So I think, do we wait until we stack up to fire stack 10? I think that's what we do. Considering all that damage is just from two of those casts, it's pretty good. Okay. We've got a little bit of an issue here. There we go. Good movement out of there. Okay. Should we just start Gatling gunning the Matriarch there? Good. Potions become a little bit more appealing now. I wonder if anything was changed on the potion front. Probably tunnel vision. I think let's tunnel vision. Let's just start mashing cues, even though, even not at optimal conditions. I think that it'll be okay for us. There we go. We just need a clear line of sight to get some darn electric, with uh, <laughs> some electric, wrong element, some fire spells in there. Doing all good. Frogutsu. Hakroken. Alright. In we go. Aha! Elemental Devotion 2 is going to make things spicy. Oh my god, mana hungry? Every 10 mana you spend increases your power by 2, and all mana costs by 3.5 for 6 seconds. That's actually really good. That's actually really good. So we go like this. We stack this up to 10. We bop this down, and look at this. For 3.5 seconds, all of a sudden, our fireballs are doing stupid damage. Twenty nine. Wait, why? How's it at twenty nine? Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait a minute. Because I'm spending all my mana. It's a fixed amount. Sixty two stacks. Seventy one stacks. Look how much damage it, it keeps refreshing. Because the costs are getting higher, but it's it's a percentage of my mana is the cost. 97? So I just perma-ramp up? Um... Theoretically, this could be infinite damage. Like, this could theoretically be infinite damage. Like, it would take a while. But like, wow. Okay, how much is that gonna do? That just crit for 8,000! Let's get some mana regen, I guess, now. Like, I'm gonna lose it when I press this button, I think. No, I didn't. I didn't! Alright, never stop casting that. Oh my god! 
I broke everything. Oh, this is literally, literally busted. It's just literally busted. We're going to get to the point where our AoE, whenever we crit with that. Oh my god, look at that. 271 stacks. Like, I could still die if I, you know, just walked into them for a while. Oh my god. We just want to keep on casting it now. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep dashing. Keep casting. 332. 332 stacks of mana hungry. Honestly, it's kind of a fun interaction. And I wouldn't say that it's bad if it reset during a fight, I think that it'd be kind of... Maybe it'd be okay. Just have to keep on going with that. This is whenever we attack, we increase our attack speed. I'll take this. Okay, go, 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 go. Just trying to make sure we keep our stacks. Unbelievably mana hungry. Oh my god, my basic attack is critting for about 3,000. I wish I put this move on my right click, but oh well. Spell Mastery Fireball. What is that achievement? I'm assuming it's casted a certain amount of times. Oh my word. God, yeah, the fact that I have WASD and I, I got that move on Q is brutal. Whoa! That was a 17,000 crit! Oh my god, 10,000 crit! 10,000 just basic damage is what that does right now. Oh my god. 22,000 crit! Oh my god. Yeah, this is not supposed to work like this. And I'm here for it. Just don't let these drop. Lol. Why do I break everything I touch? That's new and fun. Honestly, I'll just do fire. Oh, these count as enemies killed. Ooh. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Does the fire trail do my, like, parts of my damage? It totally does. It scales off of my power. It scales off of my power. Anything that scales off of my power right now is going to be broken. Like, that's why I kind of just... I guess I kind of want crit chance because then my AoE is going to be... Did you see that? My AoE crit for 2,000, I think. Oh my god. We're going berserk. Which means more mana, which means the stacks stack faster. Wow. Okay, hey, what are we even doing for damage nowadays with that move? Okay, I don't even know. I can't even tell. Nothing is living long enough. Oh my god, what was that number? 20,000. Not even a crit. 20,000, not even a crit. Uh. I mean. 
Yes, my my power. I guess a cooldown reduction at this point is not too bad. There, we just crossed a thousand stacks. Just keep going. Yeah, this is... This is gonna be probably the highest damage build you'll ever see, truly. Because this is gonna get fixed. Oh my god. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's why I take things like that, and I'm like, I guess I'll, like, I'm gonna see how, how does mana increase work when you use a percentage? Because theoretically that just doesn't make any sense. I thought that it was just gonna be, I thought it wouldn't stack. Or something, I guess I don't know how it would work. I don't know how you fix this. Technically, like... I don't know. I don't know what the answer would be, is the thing. I'm sure there's a way it's going to have to be like a weird little interaction. It could just be as simple as removing the stacks at the end of combat. Like, I actually think that that'd be an okay thing. I think that would be a fun, it'd be still a fun synergy to discover. Without being unbelievably broken. Honestly, crit damage sounds fun. Crit damage percent up. Go a long way for us. Sumo. Ball. Alright. Stack it on up. Stack it on up. Stack it on up. That's what I thought might happen. <laughs> and then the stacks go away. I one-shot the boss. Oh my god. Oh, I knew there was I knew that there was a capability of doing that somewhere. What a what an exciting way to break it right before release. Uh, I'm sure it will be fixed in some way. But but that's we did it. That's that. That is freaking that. So there's everything, uh, everything completed. There's some achievements, but I don't know what they are yet, because the way that pre-release access to games on Steam's work is, it shows me that I have 11 out of 18 achievements, but because there's no public database of the achievements yet, I don't get to see what they are, so I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll be back tomorrow to do some achievements or something. Uh, maybe we'll move on for a little bit until there's an update. Now that you guys have access to play it yourselves, we shall see. But it's been a really good time. It's, it's just it's such a nice game. It's such a good game. Uh, I just I don't know, man. It just it feels feels good. And like the fact that it was in development before Vampire Survivors came out. I think lets it do something that is going to be popular right now without feeling like exactly everything that's popular right now. You know, it's it's doing something really close without stepping on toes. And honestly, it's doing it better. It's doing it better. It's doing it more interesting. Uh, I think just more content is just going to make this game fantastic. More content, and then, like, when more content comes, probably ways to, uh, uh, maybe, maybe at a certain point you unlock an extra reroll, you know? Like, I don't know how many spells there are, but, like, I mean, this is how many, uh, tokens there are, or whatever you want to call them. But, you know, maybe, maybe when you have, like, four, th three full pages or four pages of these, you get an extra reroll or something. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to say. But the game is great. Uh, go pick it up. Go support it. I, you know, I, I checked it out back when it was in uh, demo form over on itch.io, um, and I don't know what's going to happen to that version. I think that there maybe, maybe there will be like a free demo style version or something like that. Uh, but yeah, go pick it up on Steam. Out today. I don't. At, at some point today. Thank you for watching though. Check out the channel. Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.